Hello, everybody. Like, share, subscribe to the channel. Let's go. Brandon is banned in Canada. If you work for the government, you can't say the phrase, the colloquialism, let's go, Brandon. <laughs> man. Hey, man. That's the same spirit that's happening in America under these Democrats. They want to control the words you say. They want to control it. anything that is a dissent or a rebuke against them and the way they govern. They're not going to have it. They're not going to have it. This is that's communism, brother. That's communism at its greatest. It's like China. You can't say certain things against the government. Let's go. Brandon is a phrase that started when the fans was at a. I think it was a NASCAR event and the, the reporter was was interviewing was interviewing the one of the drivers and the crowd was in the back saying F Joe Biden F Joe Biden and the reporter lied and said oh they're saying let's go Brandon and everybody could hear clearly that they were saying F word Joe Biden and so this phrase you know this colloquialism was born let's go brandon because she said they were saying let's go brandon brandon when everybody knew they were saying f joe biden now if joe biden had these 81 000, 81 million votes where are the cheers for the man where are those who are defending him okay this is further proof further proof that he does not belong in there if you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying you know, according to, you know, a real election, a real election. If we had a real true election, that man would not be nowhere cliff close to it. He wouldn't get a sniff to that White House. OK, he can go live and barely scratch 3000 uh, views, viewers. He can go live. The president of the United States can go live and YouTube will have to add likes and views to his to the deal. Yeah, but they're trying to ban Let's Go Brandon. They, they want to ban it. Just just yesterday, I think Saturday at one of the, the games, the announcer said, Let's Go Brandon. The crowd went crazy. The crowd went crazy. You you see you see the two ends of this deal. You see the two ends of it. President Donald Trump was very popular. Very popular because he was an America first president. America. We didn't have all this stuff. America was prospering. America was strong. America looked strong. People respected us. Ask Kim Young Un. Ask him. President Donald Trump does not play. People crossing that border, they said, "Would you come on? on do, would you cross the border during the time of Trump?" And be like, "No, wouldn't try it then." But now we got a joke in here. He will. He was wild popular. Boat shows, thousands of boats, motorcycles for Trump caravans for Trump, Latinos for Trump, Latinos for Trump, blacks for Trump, America was for Trump, Trump all around the world, right? But now on the other end of the spectrum, you see Joe Biden as president and people are chanting F Joe Biden or they saying, let's go Brandon. And they're saying it in Canada and they're saying it around the world because it is a rebuke to a to a tyrannical government it is a rebuke to this one world order it is a rebuke to them trying to take over the world that's what that's right and people are waking up to it okay so that's what that's all about let me know what y'all think about it like share and subscribe see you